A Fox News alert. Sirens blaring in Israel as the ceasefire with Hamas ends and fighting resumes. Greg Palcott live in southern Israel with the very latest. Greg. Yeah, folks, after a week's pause, the fighting is on. The war between Israel and Hamas is raging again. We're just about a mile from the northern part of Gaza Strip at our location here. I'm going to step aside and let cameraman Ben give you a sense of the landscape here. In the last hour or so, we've been seeing Israeli airstrikes. We've been hearing Israeli artillery. You might see a little bit of smoke coming from there. There was a whole bunch of smoke coming coming from there about a half hour ago. Uh, again, uh, we're also hearing automatic gunfire, a sign of clashes on the ground. Remember, there could be thousands of Israeli soldiers there. The strongest strikes have been in the southern part of the Gaza Strip. That is a Hamas stronghold. How do we get here? Well, both sides are blaming each other. After over 100 hostages were freed, Israel says Hamas did not present an adequate set of new captives to be released. Before the ceasefire was set to end, at around 7 a.m. local time, Hamas sent off some rockets to the neighboring villages where we are here right now. And that was that. Following that, Israel announced it was resuming strikes, hitting a variety of locations, again, trying to go for what is now the temporary headquarters of the Hamas leadership around the Khan Yunus area, warning people to flee. But we already have heard that dozens of people have been killed, according to Hamas. And Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's office released a statement saying, in part, upon the resumption of fighting, we emphasize the government of Israel is committed to achieving the goals of the war, releasing the hostages, eliminating Hamas, ensuring Gaza never again constitutes a threat to the residents of Israel. Remember last night we did see the last for now, it seems, of the released hostages, seven women and one man starting at a teenage level. And while negotiators today say they're looking to restart the ceasefire, experts say that is unlikely to happen. It looks like we've got war again. And remember, guys, as we watch this, as we watch the Israeli uh, uh, Air Force hit targets as we see smoke come up, hear a lot of booms. There are still hostages there, too, maybe as many as 140 that haven't been freed. So retrieving the hostages as well as dealing with Hamas, it's a double, double barreled uh, uh, target and uh, strategy for Israel. Back to you. Yeah. Great, Thank families. you very much, Greg.